Slicker Hill Homestead. Erica and Jason are combing every inch of their property for ways to become more self-sufficient. Their DIY hoop house has helped big time with their gardening ventures. And I believe Erica would swear by their birdies raised beds the, uh, and their grow bags. And I'm really happy about the fit. I'm going to plant onions on the, around the whole edge here. The second seeding of lettuce. I moved the collards down into the grow bag. We've got garlic, strawberries are starting to, to blossom, which is great. And then here's where that cold frame was with all the tomatoes. Um, I also hardened off a couple tomatillos, and I actually was picking up uh, flowers for those. Um, I broke a couple tomatillos, um, so that's always fun. Squash and cucumbers and dill are in the back here. I'm gonna try to move the dill outside. Well, that's, that's one way to move heavy grow bags. Um, keep them to about three, three, four inches tall. Um, here, you can see some long ones coming up again. And they're also really big on tapping into nature's resources at Flicker Hill Homestead. Right down here along the driveway, it goes down by the old road. You can kind of see maybe Jade walking up the old road back there. Um, and if you watched any of the videos from last couple years, last year especially, that old road is where we did a lot of the sugaring. Um, it's lined with old sugar maples, mostly uh, very, very large sugar maples. And then we'll use the cutter, and this cutter thing just comes forward and just slices it, but it holds on to the end. First day of sugaring in our new pan. They love their trees for other things too. That was that's maple too, I think. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, when it was fresh cut, it was really dark. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know the cherries very well. It, it had a black cherry fruit that came off of it every year. That's pretty neat. So if gardening every which way but loose is your thing, or you're wondering how pancake syrup gets from the trees to the waffle bar, <laughs> or you just like homesteading in general, you're going to love watching the folks at Flicker Hill Homestead. Blue Orangutan. Blue Orangutan is an animal documentary in the time of a coffee break channel. This is channel. a story of a low-status female hyena who found a loophole in the social order of her clan and climbed the social ladder to become the ultimate alpha female. From heartwarming stories and jaw-dropping antics, Blue Orangutan nutshells many stories and documentaries that we may otherwise have not even known about. And the blue whale is one of the biggest species that has ever lived. Isopods, zombie worms, six-gill sharks, Greenland sharks, and other undersea scavengers came to feast. Some, instead, become stranded on coasts around the world. Blue Orangutan doesn't comment on videos, but this channel shows up in a lot of live stream chats and kind of has conversations and whatnot there. There are also really cool or just plain really weird animal facts. So if you want to see documentaries in a nutshell of animals past, present, and possibly even future, you'll love the quick bites a blue orangutan. DC's bees, formerly known as DC's blessed bees, Dave's bees are still blessed just with a shorter channel name. What is a baby beard anyway? <laughs> that is so weird. DC's bees doesn't just show the oddities of bees, but also the normal routine maintenance and care. It. They've actually been being really nice today. I'm breaking them clear down to the bottom to give them kind of a complete inspection. So I'm wondering if she's starting to move up. And so that's kind of cool. Because that means they're back filling all of this stuff with food like it'll be good for them for the winter. And the ouchies. <laughs> Lots of ouchies. <laughs> What happens when you smash the bee with the fingertip? They sting it. Down there. Bring it down there, stitches. Get the old bee agitator. Not into bees, but you like garden work? There's a bit of that with DC's bees, too. Oh, and honey extraction. And we're gonna see about doing some honey extracting. Dave has lots of bee footage planned for the future, too. I like to move them down here to this. 
so that they get a little more sunlight. So if you can't get enough of bees, you ought to check out DC's bees. Saw milling, tree tapping, birdie raised bedding homestead, animal documentaries that you can watch faster than you can go to the can, being blessed in and around the apiary. Are these your people?